was a boy, an orphan without a single toy. His name was Pete. His world was grey. Until he found a friend one day. It was no normal friend he'd found. She was but the prettiest girl in town. From that day on, the summer bore adventures every single morn. Her name was Wren, so young and gay. She even had a small piano she'd play. From sharps and flats to middle C, she taught Pete to play and read. But on one fateful evening they when looking for some place to play. Pete and Wren stumbled through a door onto an abandoned asylum floor. And from the shadows, a face of white snatched poor Wren out of sight. Pete was not like Wren at all. He was timid, scared, and small. And this was his last farewell, for Pete into a coma fell.
1001, 1002, 1003. Oh, crap. Not another interruption. I'm in the middle of jumping to a billion. Pete, I told myself I need to jump to a billion five hundred fifty. It will make me feel amazing. Um, same reason growing my hair out to 1.73 meters will make me feel like a god. So, can I help you? 1015, 1016, 1007. Considering you're the reason everyone's parents have been missing all summer, I'd keep questions like that on the down low. I mean, you fainted in terror as Ren was kidnapped. So the grown-ups went to Black Fork Asylum to try and find her. They haven't been back since. It's all right, buddy. Just be careful asking stupid questions. I, for one, am about to head out to look for my dad because of you. After I finish counting, of course. Finally awake! My heart is full. I was about to adventure out to the Spidarian sewer to look for the grown-ups. I'll admit, my tummy is filled with little butterflies. That coma must have given you a serious case of retrograde amnesia. The Spidarian sewer was our favorite spot last summer. Me? Anyways, I think a grown-up might be down there. I heard him screaming. Golly. You don't want to know what I think, my curious friend. If you must know, it is my belief that, well, um, that your girlfriend is likely dead. Oh, my heart skips a beat just thinking the dreadful thought. Her upper lepsy hasn't been great lately, Pete. Without her medication, I'm not sure how long she'll last. I'd help you find her, but I gotta go check out the Spidarian sewer first. Honestly, didn't think you'd make it out of your coma, bro. It's been a while since you were awake. You really don't remember what happened? Well, I'm glad you're back. Too bad about Ren, though. I mean, apparently she was, like, kidnapped right in front of your face, bro. The kids are saying you got so scared you went into a coma. Don't worry, nobody's judging. You were just too chicken to take care of her. The slug wasn't worth it to you, I get it. Rin's nickname? We all call her the Slug. It started as the Red Wind Slugger. You know, because of her epic baseball bat. <laughs> You've forgotten a lot, haven't you? Not sure where she hit it, though. Parkour Ninja, Gumboisa, at your service. Yeah, I just saw some guy take her down into the Spiderian sewer. He was just crawling around, dragging her in a cage. Now, um, I tried to help, honest. But, well, I already told John I'd help him find his dad. 
Ah, uh, just kidding. Um, yeah. Ren taught me how to get on these egg things. Uh, she just never taught me how to get down. Still try to work. Yep. Ren was a parkour legend, dude. She made me these sexy magnetic gloves. Really helps me grip these eggs. I call them Gomboisa grips. I think she might have another pair somewhere in her house. Anyways, dude, once I figure out how to get down, John and I are meet us there if you want to help find his dad. Disorder. I inflate randomly. Give me my sewing needle, puke fart. My mom gave it to me for emergency poppage for just such occasions. Those little turds, the spiders, snatched it right out of my pocket and ran up a tree. In the tree. Is that Simeon's sewing needle? Watch out for Punky. That's me, Punky. Simeon said I should go and find him some help, but I'm too busy dancing. Do you like my dance moves? I think I'm gonna get a tattoo for my birthday. On my butt. Oh, I'm gonna get a tattoo of my butt. On my butt. <laughs>
Research facility. This, my friend, is where I'll crack the case to the missing adults and our poor friend Red. There is no question science can't answer. Although I have to admit, all I have are questions. Let's examine the facts. Fact: there's a giant centipede downstairs, and she only seems to respond to smell. Fact: there's some weird man sneaking around Redwind and beyond. I even snapped a photo of him on the water tower in the marsh. Yes, yes, all of these facts are definitely strange. Last! My mind can only fathom the rich rewards of writing my thesis to such bewildering questions. I should get back to work. Nothing a day's reading and research can handle. Preston's drawn a diagram in chalk on the roots. Scent a spider. Length, three miles. Age, properties. Deaf, blind, and sleepy. It is possible notes. Elevated heart rate occurs with certain smells, specifically sludge. <laughs> wrinkling face only smiled. I'm starving, and I need to eat. So I snatched your pal. The perfect treat. A snack like that is said to make your wrinkling skin look young again. Hungry! Seriously? You popped me, didn't you? Ren always talked about how you're such a saint. Don't you puke! Be a saint and get me out of here! Wow, this thing is. I have a theory. Um, never mind. It's a little crazy. You're gonna think I'm insane, but I'm a grown up. Man, now I'm all covered in sand. I hope your precious Wren is dead. <laughs> you bet you got sludge smeared all over my jeans. Now I smell like Wren. Such a pig fart. Just like you. You! My problem is you! I've tried to be nice to you, but my patience is running thin. Who says phrases like that? Such a prissy. I look at my dad's naughty magazines every morning because I'm a man. <laughs> ha 
It's not easy either. You gotta make time every day for it. Seek with my big bro. You seen him around? If you see him, could you tell him I'm a mess him up? Wish I could beat his butt. I'm sick of him tricking me. I can maybe if I had that bat though. Did you know that you can swing upwards with your bat and go? Over? Of course you did. That's why they call you.
boys are talking about this a week ago. Looks like the grown-ups are turning into monsters. Anyways, Gumboisa mentioned finding three sleeping monsters. I hate to say it, but I think we need to wake them up to find Ren. They apparently know how to sing. <laughs> exactly. Ugh, I'm glad that's over with. Kind of freaked me out. One down, two to go. Quick, let's go play that song we learned on Ren's... slaughter my specimen, did you? I was threat! Looks like I'm off to my next research location. I'll see you at the water tower, Pete. I...
I heard about Simeon's mom. Yeah. I'm not so sure I want you helping me find my dad. Parkour, where you been, dude? And nice. How about you be a hero and join me and John in Neverwood Cemetery? We could use your ripe and shiny biceps. <laughs> 